Y'all know what time it is, and welcome back to Let's Play Persona 5 Royal. You got Ninja Kill 7 4, and we're gonna get back in the mix by. Well, we're gonna talk to Akechi first. So, if you notice, I'm out here by the Velvet Room. I did some fusion. Let's just say that my compendium is 95% done. Anyways, we're gonna head out to the Darts and Billiards. I have a very unique cast of personas on me now. How unique, you wanna say? You're about to see the uh, power of New Game Plus. You see, I went down from the max money to like 7.5 mil. Yeah, we got some monsters on us right now. And I think we're going to enter this fight with you. We're going to end it with Ongeo Key. So yeah, if you didn't know, yeah, that's what's about to happen. We're about to get into a fight, essentially. So you have to be, be make sure you are prepared for this. All right. Hey. Do you have time? I want to talk to you about something. Maybe best we went somewhere where there aren't many people around. How about let's say mementos? Nobody can get in our way there. Uh. He wants the two of you to go to mementos alone. Well, you guys are strong enough uh, that you should be fine. But uh, be ready for anything, I guess. Thank you. Then let's head to Shibuya. All right. Well, uh. Well, this place should do nicely. So we're here. Why are we in mementos, bro? This. Remember what I told you? If you ever won against me using my right hand, I'd take you on with everything I've got. But why though? You said you want to fight? I mean, that's a fight that you want. Exactly. Your insight allowing you to determine my dominant hand, your quick wit, and most of all, how fast you've grown. You've exceeded my expectations in every way. Thus, I've built up this urge to duel you without holding anything back. Let's do this. Thank you for indulging my selfish request. No need for pleasantries at this point, correct? Yeah, I'm just gonna kick your ass. That's that's cool. Let's go. How about the? By the way, I love you guys because uh, I'm recording this right now at damn near 5 a.m. and I gotta be at work in like six hours. Oops, my fault. All right. Ultra Blast, Tarakasha. All right. Can you take this? That didn't do shit. Good God. I missed. Can you take this? Ah. Fuck you. Oh, my attack is still up. Okay. Jeez. Oh, this is actually gonna hit me though. For how much? Not much. Let's go. Hmm. Persona. This isn't gonna do shit. Yeah. Come. Ravage them. Of course. This is gonna do shit. This fight's damn near over. <laughs> this is not expected. Yeah, I'm kicking your ass. Simple enough. Yeah, I beat the shit out of this nigga, bro. No wonder you're the leader of the Phantom Thieves. You've caught up to me on this front already, too. Ah. I can say whatever the fuck I was gonna say. I'll just say, was that all you got? Of course not. But if we go any further, we'd both go beyond the point of no return, wouldn't we? In all honesty, I'd love to see just how far we can go. Hey, pause, nigga. What, what, what you talking about, bro? What you mean by that? But we have an important mission coming up. Until that's finished, you're a vital ally to me. 
You're done here. Let's go. Ah, uh, you got bitched. <laughs> you got your ass whooped, son. Once again, I've learned something new about you today. As allies fighting alongside one another, your strength is truly reassuring. In all honesty, it's to the point that I'd be relying on you in a pinch. The feeling's mutual. <laughs> you truly are well composed. I'm sorry I asked you to indulge me, but I do feel a bit better now. Okay, our bomb with the catchy is growing. All right. By the way, about that duel. If we had fought to the end, do you see yourself winning? Well, I definitely wouldn't lose. I had a feeling you'd say that. I'm going to be entirely honest with you. I hate you. <laughs> ah, this nigga salty as shit. Your deft handling of your unfortunate circumstances, your uniqueness, your ability to surpass me, all these irritate me. This nigga jealous as a motherfucker. You're the one person I refuse to lose to. And yet, it's happened multiple times already. You really hate losing, don't you? Without a doubt. Even I was unaware that it was this severe. I'll let you have this win today. But next time I will be victorious. Whatever you say. Let this be my proof. You threw your glove at me? There's a tradition in the West to throw one's glove at their opponent when demanding a duel. In the West? To all my viewers who live in uh, in the Western part of the world here, let me ask y'all a question, right? When somebody's wanted to fight you, have they ever thrown a glove at you? Yeah, I thought so. We niggas just fight, so. Should the opponent accept the glove, the duel is also accepted. I accept. That's the correct answer, by the way. That you never forget. I am the one who will defeat you. <sighs> Look at the time. Let's call it a day for now. Oh, we get free time tomorrow. It's going to be a festival in Asakusa tomorrow, and I'm thinking of attending. Seems they only hold it around this time of year. Would you care to join me? I'll respond later. On the normal route, we have free time. I'm going to see if there's shit that I can do. I'll hang out with Haru for that. Uh, I'll hang out with her if, I need, if need be. First thing I want to check is, can we play games in the daytime? Oh. We can. Alright, so I'm going to play at least one game to see if I can get that book to spawn. Star for Neus. Oh, let's play Star for Neus. Ooh, let me set up a little bit. Okay. Which is basically Star Fox. Nice. 
Yeah. Well then. Good. Actually... Okay.
It's okay to let them pay. But if you are trying to treat somebody like you invited them out or whatever, pay. All right? Don't be it. Don't be a bitch. Pay. Okay, I wonder how it tastes. Well, here we go. There is a faint bitterness beneath a strange mellow strangely mellow flavor. This coffee is clearly distinct from what Sojiro serves at LeBlanc. That was the email that I just got. It has a distinctly fragrant aroma paired with a mouth flavor. This is undoubtedly delicious, yet I would barely consider it coffee. Apparently it's brewed using beans gathered from elephant dung. Ugh. Excuse me while I vomit, Ed. I can taste the elephant. I'm sorry. <laughs> I apologize for not disclosing that to you earlier. <clears throat> I just thought you might find it hard to enjoy if you had known ahead of time. I was surprised to hear it at first myself, but that was actually why I wanted to try it to begin with. Adventurous, are we? Another rare type of coffee, Kopi Luwak, is gathered from the feces of a small cat called a civet. Interestingly enough, the flavor differs depending on what animal it was originally consumed by. Speaking of cats, do you think Monachan would be able to- Oh, Let's ask him! Perhaps it would become LeBlanc's new specialty drink. Oh, but we need Monachan for our operations, huh? We can't afford to make him eat beans all day. The magical fruit. <clears throat> Coffee is so profound. Haruchan. Huh? Takakura-san? What a strange place for us to meet. It's not often I see people your age at this luxurious buffet. And who is this? Oh, uh, he's a friend from school. Renkun, this is Takakura-san, the new president of Akuma Foods. By the way, looks like we will be able to avoid litigation. We somehow settled on decent terms. You don't need to worry. Oh, and should your shares, uh, about your shares, you should consider letting the company hold on to them for the time being. I'm sure you have enough on your plate already, given everything that's happened to you. No. Well, I... Oh, uh, sorry to bring that up while you two are enjoying yourselves here. That aside, how are things going with Sukumura kun You know, these days you need to reserve a wedding hall, almost a year in advance if you want a good one. Sometimes it worries me how laid back you are, Haruchan. Right. We're in the process. Well, I should be heading back to the office now, but uh, oh, but please, allow me to pay for your drinks. No, that's quite alright, and um, about the shares, I can handle them for now. I'm going to protect that which my father left for me. Uh, I understand, but uh, please do re try to reconsider, though. Well then, you'll excuse me. Mm. That was a lie. There's no way I can handle the responsibilities I have to deal with right now. I mean, I'm just an inexperienced high schooler, but I can't leave the ta uh, the company in Takakura-san's hands. Hey, um, what did you think of him? I'm not really sure. <laughs> You're so honest, Renkun. But I agree. I really don't know whether I can or not I can trust him. Um. Right now, the most prevalent rumor about Takakura-san is that he was pleased by my father's passing. I mean, he was certainly the person who stood to uh, benefit the most from it. It's hard to deny that fact. But he says he's trying to rebuild our company image. I just can't tell if he really means it. You know, sometimes I wonder what life would be like if I didn't have money. If I was normal. Don't get me wrong, the company is definitely important, but it's often nothing more than a source of stress. Um. With you guys, though, I feel like I actually belong. That's why I'm going to work extra hard to make sure my harvest turn out great. Nice. Negotiation amidst a group of shadows fails, you can try again. Right. Celebitalk. talk. Um. Oh, and for that Sugimura-san. That's my fiance. He's been really showering me with presents lately. Why not he even left a bouquet of roses on my pillow? But he would have needed one of my servants to help him accomplish that, right? 
What a scary thought. Even worse, Takakura-san has been hurrying us to get married. After what happened to my father. He claims it's because of, of the profit the marriage will bring to the company. But there has to be more to this situation than just that. Yes. Anyway, I'll look a little deeper into Takakura-san. Perhaps he truly was pleased by my father's death. Maybe I should start by asking the employees who are trying to desperately, uh, so desperately to win my favor. Hmm. You haven't drink any more of your coffee, Rincoon. Aren't you going to finish it? And nigga said, oh, fuck that, I'm not drinking this elephant shit. I appreciate the, the, the coffee though, you know, you, you buying it for me. Oh, Rincoon, sorry about that awkwardness today. You took the time out of your schedule to hang out with me, but we ended up dealing with my own drama. Hey, let's get coffee again sometime. <laughs> I'll let you know if I find another spot, a nice spot. It won't always be that luxurious, though. Lately, I felt so suffocated, I don't know who to trust anymore. But it's so reassuring to have someone like you, someone who listens to me. I'm going to do whatever I, I can to look further into Takakura-san. I might come to you for help again if, if I find something. Well, see you later. Haru is adorable. How are we doing on time? Under 25 minutes. We're making super good time, actually. Now we're going to hang out with our favorite Shogi player. Ah, you're back. Alright. Bow. Let's go to church. It is a Sunday, after all, when I'm recording this. Hello. Oh. I'm a Mia-kun. The thing is, something unexpected happened. Can we talk? Thank you very much. Please sit down so we can talk. Actually, well, my mother finally talked to me. She told me that most of my matches thus far had been fixed in my favor. She also admitted that she was the one who told, sold that story to the weekly magazine. I, I had no idea. I feel so ashamed. However, thinking back, I do recall some of my opponents making odd or poor moves at odd times. I've always wanted people to recognize my shogi skills, but I suppose I never had any. I became so conceited as a result of all those fake victories. Why did my mother confess all of a sudden? It says that she had a change of heart. Oh. A change of heart? The Phantom Thieves? That can't be. Perhaps they eavesdropped on our conversation? Well, I'm glad her heart changed. Yes. It was painful to hear the truth, but I'm glad that my mother had a change of heart. Um. I have decided I'm not going to lose. Uh, lose what? Oh, sorry, I was referring to the exhibition match. I'm going through with it as planned. However, before that, I'm going to confess everything. I know, I'll receive a lot of criticism, but I must ensure the truth is known. Mm -hmm. This match will showcase my true talents. I don't know how it's going to go, but I hope you'll watch. As your teacher, I promise to put up a good fight so I don't embarrass myself. Nice. All right. I would be lying if I told you that I'm not scared. My kingdom is a house of cards. I'm not sure if it can withstand a true battle. However, I intend to fight with dignity to the very end as a queen should. There's a new move I'd like to test out for the I exhibition. Will you stay for another game? Please come at me with all you have. That is, if you can get past the valiant knights who guard my Togo kingdom. <laughs> Adorable! Until next time. I see, so there's still room for improvement. I'd like to do this again sometime. La da 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 da. Um, it's me. May I have a little bit of your time? I was just a little curious about your thoughts regarding my decision to reveal my fixed matches, that is. I support it. Thank you. I'm so glad to hear that you're the reason I managed to make that decision after all. I kind of talked all that at once. 
Our talks helped me realize I should play with utmost sincerity. Ah, I'm sorry. I only wanted to convey my gratitude for you. I must prepare for my exhibition match. So, I'll be going now. I'll see you at the church. Getting through a lot of these confidants right now. I tell you that. I tell you what. Yo. What's up, Yusuke? We will be sending the calling card on the 18th, 10 days from now. Would you like to do anything before then? I would want to play. <laughs> I see. You maintain your composure. I suppose you're, suppose you're made of sterner stuff. Very well. Our existence depends on this strategy. Let's do everything we can. I hope you're you're not spending your money, dog. You know. You have your notes. Last time we were talking about how court trials work. Today we'll be learning about what you're asking if the fan of these will be given a trial if they get caught. Of course they would. All they would need to do is prove a link between the deaths and their activities. In short, they will be put on trial for murder. Hey, I'm Amia. What's up, bro? You know it, right? Tell me how old you have to be to be to listen on a trial. Any age. That's right, no age restrictions for listening on a trial. You can get in whether you're 0 or 85. You crimes are an exception, but it's basically open to the public, meaning you can all go attend. Well, I imagine the visitor's seats will be full of the if the Phantom 3 is put on trial. Everyone's dying to know who exactly the culprits are and how they did it. I'm not putting too much rough into that voice because that would hurt my throat right now. How are the, their methods uh, and how it proves to connect to the murders must be proven in order to sentence them. The methods that the Phantom Thieves use far exceed human knowledge. I'd imagine in order to catch them, they'd have to catch them in the act. Mm. Hey. Alright, 10 days left. We're gonna go, we're gonna go see... Chihaya, because we need a reading for the star Kana. She still sees death, which is not good. What shall we do? Affinity reading. We're gonna do it with Fumi. Excuse me. Uh, uh, uh. Mm. Mm -hmm. Your feelings should have reached the other person. Well, that's all for today. I hope it was helpful. What do you think? I hope you're happy with your fortune. I look forward to your next visit. All right. Now we gotta go hang out with somebody else. And by somebody else is our favorite fluffy girl. Hello, Haru. Okay. Thank you. All right. Um, I'd like you to spend some time with me if you're free. I need to speak with you about Takakura-san. All right, bet. Thank you. Then, thank you. Well, let's get some coffee while we talk. Oh, I know. Why don't we try it at Big Bang Burger for a change? I mean, that is your place, technically, I guess. Oh, that's their coffee. Is it like McDonald's coffee? Um, I went into Takakura-san, but I didn't find, uh, manage to find very much beyond these initial rumors. Several people I asked said that he often complained about my father, but just as many seemed to say the exact opposite. One side has to be deceiving me, correct? I'm honestly suspicious of everyone at this point. Hmm. Well, somebody's telling the truth. Yes. I see. If there are two contradictory stories, one of them has to be right. I suppose I'll need to learn the truth of the matter myself. To be honest, Takakura-san has been pushing the marriage particularly hard lately. He says it will help provide vital backup for myself and Akuma Foods, both in public and in private. He's even st started asking Sugimura-san into uh, important company meetings. We have a contract. Does this mean it's already too late? Is marrying him my only option? Though now that I think about it, that may be my best chance to help the employees my father left behind. 
There has to be another way. You're right. Perhaps I shouldn't give up so easily. Either way, graduation is quickly approaching. I'll need to decide my course of action soon enough. You know, before you, even, uh, you came along, I hadn't even not, uh, considered not going through with this marriage. I believe I would simply marry the man my father had chosen and let the rest of my life pass me by. I wonder what would have happened if my father didn't have a palace. Would I have just resigned myself to the fate he had made for me? I don't think so. Rencoon. You always know how to make me feel better. Honestly though, things would have been far worse for me if I hadn't joined the Phantom Thieves. Plus, I would never have had anyone to talk to like this. If there's anything I can do to return the favor, please tell me. I want to help you as much as I can. Nice. Aw, that, that's adorable. Bumper crop. Increase the total vegetable yield for a single harvest. I feel like that's the name of a game in Mario Party. I hope someday I can look out uh, at the sea with a nice cup of coffee and forget about all of this. And I hope you'll be there with me, Rincoon. We can forego the elephants, though. Don't worry. Ah! Now, shall we return home? Hello? This is Rincoon, right? Um, I wanted to apologize for all the weird stuff I said earlier. You know how I talked about how things would have been if I hadn't joined the Phantom Thieves? Once I started to imagine that again, this powerful fear came flooding back. Pinch yourself. Ah, yes, I've read about that in a book. The idea is very simply to pinch my cheek. Very hard. Ow! <laughs> yes, that hurts, so this is all real then. And I'm, I'm so in, uh, and so I'm indebted to you once again. I have to work hard so I can repay you. Sorry if I worried you. Okay, see you. Time check. Not even 35 minutes in. Still doing really good on time. Ah, you're back. All right. We're gonna hang out with the Y again. We're getting real close to finishing him up, by the way. Off screen, I might do the stuff that I need to in here. I would like to work, sir. Remember what I said? Hang out with him. Time for you to do some work around the shop, Mr. Gun Enthusiast. Hey. Be careful with this gun. If anyone's interested in buying it, let me know right away. This thing's an antique. I'm not going to sell it to anyone less than a real gun expert. Oh, and about Suda. I already got excommunicated from the clan. Apparently his boss found out what happened. Serves him right, huh? Are you sure he's still alive? Yeah. Think so. Pretty big relief, assuming it's true. I mean, sure, that bastard pissed me off, but I never once wished he'd end up dead on me. The whole thing's been real crazy, though. I mean, Suda used to be the role model for upholding the code. I guess this is what he meant when he said times are changing. Hello? Oh, it's you. If you want to talk about Suda. Huh? Oh, wait, what? The hell are you doing? Hey. You motherfucker. Hey, hold on. <sighs> Damn it. That bastard Masa's abducted Kaoru. Who's Masa? From the Hashiba clan. That guy you eavesdropped on at the diner, remember? <sighs> God, that piece of shit. He knew about Suda's failure the whole time. I bet he was just waiting for a chance like this. We should hurry. Right. They're over at Seaside Park. I'll grab the keys and lock up. Come on, let's go. Hey. Let Kaoru go. Take it easy, Mune-san. All I did was give him a friendly ride home from Crown School. Ain't that right, Kaoru oh, Shit, he's got a fucking knife on him. Dad, I'm sorry. He said he had some stuff to tell you about me. Then he... Kaoru. Man, ain't he just a great kid? Cut the bullshit. 
And what are you, Mune-san's little errand boy? Wait, I remember you. You're that weirdo from the diner. I said, like, how we'll go. Fuck off! I heard you the first time. So what are you gonna make me do? Great question! You know those modded guns you're, you were gonna give, Suda? Be real nice to get my hands on them. And there's a lieutenant spot open now that Suda's gone. But I still need to prove my worth before I can get it. And you're gonna help me do just that. <laughs> Sorry, Masa, but you got some real shitty timing. We just broke them all down. There's nothing left. You think that's gonna dissuade me? You know, I know everything about Karu-kun's situation. <laughs> what? My situation? Dad, what does he mean? Don't you remember what I told you in the car, Karu-kun? About your dad, about what he thinks of you? <sighs> right. I'm just a burden, aren't I? That's it, isn't it? Tell me, Dad, I can handle the truth. That ain't true. I'm trying to protect you, Kaoru. Hey, this family bullshit is real touching and all, but we're supposed to be negotiating here, remember? Why don't we start with the delivery date? The sooner the better in my book. Shit. God damn it. Oh, but don't give me that shit. None of this would be happening if you didn't go and take that brat in. I knew it. Everything really is my fault. Kaoru. You need to trust your son. Ren. Hey, what are you two chatting about over there? Yo. Karu, listen. There's something I've been keeping from you for a while now, and you're probably not gonna like it. Truth is, your real parents died in a car crash. You were abandoned by your mother when you were still a baby. That's why I took you in. Believe it or not, I was actually part of the Yakuza back then. Huh? Oh man, I can't believe you really freaking told him, Mune-san! He's not lying, Karu-kun. From what I heard, your mom tried to sell you uh, to us just so she could get her hands on some easy drug money. Sell me? Yep. Then when Mune-san here wasn't buying, she just dumped you and ran. And that's how you end up with the Yakuza dad. Pretty crazy, huh? Ah, that's a relief. I've been trying to hold that in all day long. I couldn't wait to see the look on your face when you found out. Man, this is hilarious. Boo frickin' who? How sad. <laughs> Enough. All that might be true, but it's in the past now. I'm not a child anymore, and I never let a stupid secret like that get to me. Huh? So what if my mom dumped me? Or if my dad was part of the Yakuza? You might not be related by blood, but... We're connected by the gecko. So you know what? I don't care what you have to say about us. I'm me. Imuna Hisei Iwai is my dad. Hmm. Huh. <laughs> Attaboy, Kaoru. Listen, Masa. Let's put an end to this right here, right now. We can start fresh. You seriously still don't get it, do you? Kaoru Kuns. No, Masa. You're the one who doesn't get it. You really fucked up this time. Oh. Suda. S Suda, uh, I, I mean, sir. Don't give me that. I know you ratted me out to the boss. You never have been good at keeping your mouth shut. It, no, it, it wasn't me. Uh-huh. And what do you think you're doing waving around that knife, huh? I'm sorry. Your kid's got guts, Mune. My father likes son, huh? Yo. Looks like it. So what now? Well, I'll start by making this idiot repay his debts. I haven't thought much about what comes after. All I really know is, this is where we say goodbye, Mune. Take care, brother. Let's go. Are you okay, Kaoru? Yeah, I was a little afraid, but it's all better now. Huh. Honestly, I'm surprised you stayed calm through all that. Guess you're maturing quicker than I even realized. Kaoru is really strong-willed, man. <sighs> sure is. I never would have been able to say all the shit he did. You know, I've been so busy making sure he doesn't end up like me that I forgot to see who he's actually becoming. Huh. I can't believe us. I'm only just realizing this now. <laughs> Appreciate it. And it's all thanks to you, kid. 
I appreciate it. For real. Hell yeah. Rank 9. All right. That was cool. My throat is starting to burn. Hey, all that excitement made me super hungry. Why don't we go back to that diner? You seriously eat on a whole nother level. You might even end up taller than me someday. Let's go. Come on, let's head over there. Let's go. <laughs> How are we doing on time? Beautiful. All right. Yo, it's me. It's me. It's DDP. Sorry for that whole mess back there. I'm glad Kara was safe and all, but man, he ended up with a hell of an appetite after that. Sure was something connected. Sure was something connected by the gecko, huh? That kid must have grown into a man while I wasn't looking. Why not nudes? What the fuck? Like father, like son. Nah, I'm not worthy of a son like him. He didn't get any of that integrity from me, that's for sure. That's Petro! Ugh. After going out to eat with you guys, I can barely move. Too stuffed. But somehow, it's the best feeling in the whole damn world. Thanks, Ren. You did some, uh, some great work. Huh. You got me saying all this sappy shit. Downright embarrassing. I gotta go get some air. Cool down a little. Alright, later. Well, that was nice. Anyways, we have another affinity reading to do. The lower house disbanded. It was an internal split. Masayo Shishido. He's the only one. He's the only one that can stand up for what's right. The only one who will make good on his word. That's the kind of person we need leading this nation, especially in times like these. Shido leads the United Front Future Movement, right? He was right. If we'd taken the fan of these seriously from the start, they'd be behind bars now. What will come first, do you think? Regime change or the apprehension of the Phantom Thieves? Mm -hmm. They got it out for us, it seems. Alright, we gotta do another affinity reading for Hafumi. But first... Including the day we gotta carry out the plan, there's only 11 days left. Time is really slipping away. What will happen to us if we fail? We won't fail. It's kind of tough to say that for sure. Maybe, but we can't lose heart before we've, we've even done anything. If we do that, we'll just mess, mess everything up. Even the parts we can definitely succeed in. Hmm, you actually said something wise for once. You wanna fight? You two get along so well. <laughs> uh, how so? That is an outrageous claim. That's what I should be saying. Come on, stop it. I try to keep tensions low, we're all feeling anxious. Even you, Makoto? Yes, it can't really be helped this time. That's not how I raised you. Get a hold of yourself, Ryuji. Why are you singling me out? <laughs> you didn't say anything. Hey. We're supposed to send the calling card out on the 18th, which means there's only nine days left. All right. Out to Shinjuku. Iri a a ra. Iri i i a ra. Iri a. Fortune reading. Affinity reading. We get free time if we hang out with a Fumi, or if we go to hang out with a Fumi, and uh, rank nine is available. Alright, we got a certain gamer girl to hang out with. Let's head to the back streets. Hello, Futaba. Yo. We just gotta wait for our scheduled day now. You're free, right? There's something I'd, I really, really, blah, 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 really want to talk to you about. It'd be awesome if you could make some time for me. Alright, this is rank 8 with her. Okay, let's go to your room then. Hey, listen. Alright, Navi. 
Well, you you are our navy though. Huh. So I emailed Kanachan, and believe it or not, she replied. You ended up talking on the phone about elementary school. She said the only reason she got mad at me <clears throat> about her diaries because she was embarrassed. Let me take a drink real quick. I got time to do this. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Ah, that's some good agua. Okay, because she was embarrassed. Apparently she thought I would hate her if I knew about her secrets, so she ran away. I guess me and her are pretty much the same after all. <sighs> Long story short, we made up. <clears throat> I finally apologized to her. That's incredible. Really? <clears throat> I'm surprised she's so excited about it, but I'm glad. Anyway, it's too far to actually visit each other, so we've been sending emails back and forth. We even made a promise recently to both go to high school next year. You know, there's no way I, I would have been able to call her and apologize before. <laughs> it's all because of, what, uh, of you that I could do it, Ren. Aw, oh, you're making me butt. No, I'm just kidding. You worked really hard, too. <laughs> yeah, I guess you're right. It's kind of embarrassing to actually hear you say it, though. Oh, I almost forgot. Kanachan was really surprised that these listened to her requests. <laughs> She'll never know the truth of the matter, though. Wee hee hee. I finally finished that promise. Get along with Kanachan. Um. This is really important, so I'm going to say it again. Thanks. Thank you, Ren. Wait a second. I never even said it the first time. I guess that means I'll just have to say it again now. Thank you, Ren. Seriously. Um, is it okay if I ask you for a favor real quick? I mean, I just finished a super old promise. So, um, can you pat me on the head? Mom used to do it when she was happy with me. Just pat pat. Can you do it? Bye bye me. All right. Bring it on. Whoa! That was totally different from how my mom used to do it. M my heart, my face, it feels like they're on fire. <sighs> Calm down, Futaba. Phew. Looks like that strange outburst is finally over. My heart's still beating real hard, but I'm totally good now. Sorry for making you worry. I just remembered, I still have one more promise to do. Being okay without you around. Can I really do this? Is that really possible? Meh, I'll find out some other day. Excuse me. Peace out. Nice. Time check. Good. Ehehehe. <laughs> Uh, we got free time tomorrow as well. Hey, Ren, thanks for listening to what I had to say today. Hey, hey, hey! So I've been having a lot of fun talking with Kanachan over the internet. We talk all the time now. We tell each other what we're doing, what our days are like. Kanachan says she cried when I reached out to her. When I heard that, I kind of cried a little too. And now, I'm getting along with Kanachan. I'm so glad I cleared that goal. One more pats? Watch this, this is about to fuck with her. What? Don't tease me like that. I might freak out again. Anyways, I just have one more goal to clear. It's like I want to face the final boss. Once I beat that, it's game over. Credits roll. I hope you stick around t until then, Ren. Okay, later. So let's see if we got some free time. Ah, you're back. Okay, the exhibition match. We're gonna save right now just to be safe. Alright. 
Now we're gonna see. If rank nine's available, then I'll use my free time to like read that book and shit. Is rank nine available? Good evening. The go keys, okay. Okay, rank nine is available. I, I gotta hang out later. All right, let's go back home and let's read that book. Actually, before we do that, is there anything with the twins that we can do? Uh, Velvet Room. Can we hang out with the twins? Because we can do that. I'll do that now. To clear those out. Okay, no, we can't. All right, bet. Back to LeBlanc. All right, let's read that book then. Uh, first things first, get the fuck out of here. All right, let's read the book. Uh, not dressed in ashes. We're gonna read. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Game secrets. Make sure you close up. Okay, we gotta read dressed in ashes on the train tomorrow. It's not a programming bug. It's a secret technique. Wow. Secret technique, huh? Sounds like something fan of these would use. I think. So you finished reading Game Secrets. It was full of secret techniques for a bunch of games. We can be any video game we want now. Although I guess it's up to you whether or not you actually want to use any of those cheats. Alright, <sighs> right, let's go to bed. Oh, we're finishing a confidant. Well, we're, that's how we're going to start off the next video. Hey. Dressed in ashes. Ashes piled upon the bodies like snow. Mm. I feel bad that this girl's being bullied by her own family members. Whoa. You still got time to read. Let's go a little further. I'm not fit to attend a ball. Oh. Alright. The story was tough to bear at first, but I'm glad things ended well for the daughter. Even her tough times, she continued to enjoy life. I think that's so attractive. Nice. All right. So we got a question in class, and then we're going to end things off. Well, we're going to borrow that book first that we got to borrow. <sighs> Why are you looking at me like that? I'm not sleep deprived because I want to be, you know. My neighbors have been careless lately on garbage day. The crows were calling away this morning. Those trash nests the city make uh, us use only keep them away at the start. Crows are quick learners. On that note, do you all know how to write the kanji for crow? The characters for bird and crow look very similar, but the latter has one fewer line. <sighs> what do you think, Amamiya-kun? Isn't it easy to confuse with bird? Do you know the answer? The line in the character for uh, bird has a line that the crow for uh, the character for crow doesn't. It represents the eye, but do you know why it's missing in the character for crow? Crow eyes are hard to see. This is it. Way to go. That's right. Crows are black feathered, of course, so it's hard to spot their black eyes. But crows actually have great vision. They can even see UV rays, apparently. How fitting we get us something about a crow. And we still happen to have somebody in our party who's a crow. By the way, one reading for a different crow, kanji, is ga, to intimate the sound of its calling. The character for pigeon is the same. It's based on the bird's ku, leading to the ku pronunciation. Crows are pretty smart, so you better study enough so that you don't lose to them. <sighs> Crows are scary, let me tell you. When your eyes meet, they start flapping and... Ugh. All right. But with that being said, hey, we're after school. Yep. We're going to end things off here. And in the oops, I'm going to go to the library real quick. And in the next one, we're going to start off with the rank 10 like? with our favorite little gamer boy. That's right. That boy Shinya.
We're gonna borrow the hero with the bow. Huh. Here. Hmm. Robin Hood, huh? Interesting. Well, we're gonna borrow this book, and in the next one, we're gonna, like I said, we're gonna hang out with our, our boy Shinya. So, I would like to thank everybody for watching. To my brothers and sisters and everybody else in between, I will catch you guys in the next one. Deuce. I should write something. Let's put in a little. Uh oh. The controller died. Uh oh. Hold on. Let me do the thing real quick. Give me a second. Well, it didn't die, but it stopped working. Uh, I gotta turn on the light. Now, what did I do with that shit? Up here somewhere is that, uh, is that pen. Where is that safety pen? I can't end the part. Of course it wants to mess up right here at the end. Can I turn it off? No, I can't. Okay. Um, give me a second. All right, we're back. Uh, now I can save. I don't know why my controller was acting up. That was really weird. Anyways, like I said, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Deuce.